Instant Pot Turkey Breast is a fail-proof way to prepare a perfectly cooked, juicy, flavorful turkey breast. Hey mindful moms and dads, Kristen here. As someone who suffers from a chronic disease, I believe homemade is best, but it doesn't have to be complicated. When it comes to turkey breast, my favorite way to prepare it is in the Instant Pot. Not only is it fast, but it prepares turkey that is so moist and so juicy, it's perfection. Perfect for a small holiday, or just to make for turkey sandwiches throughout the week. So let's put on our kitchen capes and make a delicious turkey breast. Now before you get started making your turkey, make sure it fits. For my six quart instant pot, I can fit between a six and seven pound turkey breast and for an eight quart, I can fit between an eight and sometimes up to a 10 pound turkey breast. I suggest that you place your turkey breast inside the instant pot still in its packaging on top of a rack and make sure that the lid fits on the instant pot. If you need to, you can get rid of the rack but I prefer to cook using the rack if your turkey breast will fit. Now that we know our turkey fits, let's make our seasoning rub. Mix together four tablespoons of softened butter with a half a tablespoon each of chopped fresh rosemary and thyme leaves, along with one teaspoon each of salt and pepper. Gently loosen the skin of the turkey breast and rub that mixture under the skin. This is gonna melt into the turkey and give it incredible flavor as it cooks. And we're gonna head over to the sink and wash our hands really well. Pour in two cups of chicken stock into the inner pot. If you aren't planning on making gravy, you can use water. And then pop your seasoned turkey breast right on top of the rack. To the cavity, you can add in some celery, some onions, some herbs, whatever you have. Today, I just have celery stalks. And then head back over to the sink and wash your hands again before you touch the lid of the Instant Pot. Now we can pop our lid on our Instant Pot. And to set cook time, you wanna cook turkey breast for six minutes per pound. I have an eight pound turkey breast today, so I'm gonna set cook time for 48 minutes on high pressure. Once the cook time has elapsed, you've heard me say it before, but let pressure release naturally for 10 minutes anytime you're cooking meat. That will give your meat time to rest and it won't seize up if you do a quick release of pressure. Remove the lid from the inner pot and carefully remove the turkey using the handles of the trivet to a sheet pan. Drizzle with olive oil and turn the oven to broil to heat. Strain the cooking liquid over a fine mesh strainer and return the inner pot to the pressure cooker and turn to saute. Add in two tablespoons of butter and let that melt and whisk in two tablespoons of flour. Feel free to double that if you want a lot of gravy to serve with your turkey. Let that cook for one to two minutes so that your gravy doesn't taste like raw flour. After about a minute, add in a fourth of a cup of dry white wine. Now the wine is really gonna add a lot of depth of flavor to your gravy, but if you don't have it on hand or you don't drink alcohol, just use some of the drippings that we have. Slowly whisk in the reserved cooking liquid a half a cup at a time using two to three cups total. Let that cook while we pop our turkey breast under the broiler to crisp up the skin. Season the gravy with a half a teaspoon each of salt, pepper, and one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Grab the turkey breast from the oven and set aside to rest while the gravy thickens. Pour the thickened gravy into a gravy boat, cut the turkey breast, and serve up the turkey with a generous serving of gravy. Trust me when I say this turkey breast is absolutely delicious. It's perfect for a holiday, perfect for sandwiches, and if you wanna see how I use this recipe to prep an entire Thanksgiving meal in just two hours, be sure to catch my next video. I'll see you there.